Hello, humanity. Uh, at least Facebook friends. Um, my name is Uno, if you don't know. And I uh, just wanted to talk about the significance of the time that we're living in. And, and I'm talking about we're in it right now, literally today. Um, in the thick of it. Uh, first, I'll stick to facts and just say that the solar system is charging up. Uh, if you just look at pictures, everyone knows that our solar system is charging and warming up. Colors are different. There's more colors on some planets like Neptune, um, you know, moons and uh, looking different, uh, ice caps melting, etc. There's just a lot of activity going on in our solar system. It's not just a global warming thing on Earth, it's the whole system is charging up. Okay, um, let's see. Um, so yeah, 928.15 should be, is the culmination of all of this energy that we're getting, at least the first wave of it. And um, it happens to be the last of four tetrad blood moons, uh, which is a super moon, full moon, four of those. Uh, which are, it's a very rare case uh, occasion to have four tetrad blood moons. The last time this happened in Jewish history was 1967, and there was uh, they had the Six Day War that time, and then the time before that was 1948 when Israel became a nation. So within a year, so that was very significant, obviously. Um, another one which is interesting is AD 70 long time ago, uh, Rome destroyed a Jewish temple. So this has always been significant. Uh, uh, and uh, this is also, well, 913.15 is the end of a Shemitah year, which is a seven year period, which is also very significant. Um, the last few times there were stock market crashes and stuff. And it's, uh, it's more complex than I know about Jewish history, but uh, I saw a video where a guy was talking about how significant this is. Um, 9.14.15 is Rosh Hashanah. Um, 9.23.15 is Yom Kippur. And 9.28.15 is Feast of the Tabernacle. So imagine that, all of that going on. Um, so, I mean, this is very significant just from the Jewish perspective, and they understand, they're connected to the ancient uh, knowledge. They understand uh, the significance of the cosmic stuff going on. Um, also, as far as Judaism, there's supposedly a lot of friendly uh, Palestinian politics going on. Like, So there's probably going to be some major significant things going on as far as uh, Palestine and Israel. Um, also on 9-23-15, the Pope is going to meet with Obama. Uh, and it's interesting because he's the 266th Pope meeting on the 266th day. And 266 days is the uh, usual gestation period of a baby. So it's, you know, they're very into that ritual stuff too. And so, just, you know, just like the Jews too. But anyway, um, they know what they're doing, and this is a very significant time, and that's why they're doing this, doing it on that day. Um, and, uh, you know, lastly, I just want to say that um, when we say we're getting a lot of light, it also affects us. And uh, we, it's time to celebrate, really, because it could have easily been another cataclysm. You know, every 23,592 years, um, there's, or the halfway points, there's always usually um, cataclysms and signif very significant, you know, bad things that happen as well. But um, supposedly we've been saved and uh, all we're getting now is an upgrade. So humanity is going to get an upgrade, which we definitely need because we all know the reason why so many people are scared is because they feel like humanity deserves <laughs> a cataclysm, but um, supposedly the angels disagree and we've been get, we get the upgrade um, instead of the cataclysm so that we can move forward 
and uh, humanity is finally ready to move forward and uh, maybe not very rec very very soon but soon money and power is going to disintegrate in the way we know it and it's going to become more horizontal um, it's going to be more feminine energy like in the old kingdom kingdom of Egypt the women were holding the men uh, spirituality living from your heart um, living with nature uh, so keep that in mind and as astrologers Robert Phoenix was even saying how significant these come the future the near future a few months from now whatever six months from now how significant it is because even on an astrolog astrological level it's time to get rid of the old uh, as we're getting rid of the old age going into the new age um, and it's time to live from your heart and live with authenticity and not just be so <laughs> fake and especially here right so so Hollywood and stuff just you got to live deep inside from inside your heart and uh, not so much your mind and just try to let go and time's going to be moving faster and the people that are going to have a hard time are people that um, want to control and hold on and live from an inner an authentic place. So just try to get rid of the old and uh, enjoy the ride.